My normal dwelling place is the lungs of swine. My normal shape, a worm. But other dwellings, other shapes are mine, within my natural term. The land snail is just like a tiny human, who happens to look like a disembodied tongue, and is covered in mucus, and has a shell. The land snail breathes air, just like the peoples do, and it eats with its mouth hole. Its bottom pair of tentacles are for smelling, while its top pair are for crude seeing. It is, however, born without ears, which makes hearing difficult. Impossible, really. They're deaf. Even a small slug or snail can carry a lungworm, which can be fatal to your dog if swallowed. The eggs lie unconsidered in the dung upon the farmyard floor, far from the scarlet and sustaining lung. But happily, a poor and humble denizen provides a rung to make ascension sure. Slugs and snails act as intermediate hosts for the lungworm, Angiostrongylus fossorum, harboring the third stage larvae in their tissues. If a dog eats an infected slug or snail, the worm larvae are freed by digestion of the mollusk in the dog's intestine. The larvae penetrate the gut wall and move to the regional lymph nodes where two further molts take place. The fifth stage larvae then migrate via the liver and caudal vena cava to the right ventricle. Ten days post-infection, the larvae have reached the right ventricle and pulmonary artery where they develop to maturity. The adult females produce eggs in which the first stage larvae develop. These eggs travel via the bloodstream to the lungs, where the presence of the parasite causes its pathogenic effects. The first stage larvae hatch out in the lung capillary beds and penetrate the connective tissues. This results in a marked inflammatory reaction with the development of granulomas, hemorrhage and fibrosis. The larvae cross into the alveoli and migrate to the trachea. They are coughed up and subsequently swallowed. The larvae travel along the intestines and are excreted with the feces into the environment. Slugs and snails that come into contact with the feces are infected with these first stage larvae via oral exposure. Inside the mollusk, development to the infective third larval stage occurs and a new cycle begins. Dog owners need to be aware of where the slugs and snails are in their garden. And from our results we can see that snails and slugs take shelter during the day in crevices and in nooks and crannies. Some of those nooks and crannies could be the insides of dog toys or simply areas where dogs uh, like to forage for scraps of food. There are plenty of opportunities for dogs to meet with snails and slugs and possibly to expose themselves to this parasite. 
Research has shown that lungworm is spreading beyond the traditional geographic distribution, with 20% of veterinary practices across the country reporting at least one case. If the infection is left untreated, the dog's health can rapidly deteriorate and can result in death. The symptoms that you tend to see with lungworm are like coughing or problems with coagulation, like bleeding problems. So it may be a sign like if they have a broken nail and it continues to bleed. It can affect all different areas of the body. There could also be internal bleeding as well. So if you notice any blood in the stools, for example, that's something to watch out for. Now normally, when we x-ray the lungs, we expect to see sort of black areas because they're full of air. In this case, you can see the sort of white, fluffy areas, these grey areas. And these are areas of consolidation, full of fluid and maybe blood as well, which are signs we see with lungworm. Mm -hmm. um, this is very serious, you know, it can cause dogs to struggle to breathe, it can cause them to cough. Um, and also the hemorrhage, you know, they can become anemic as well, so it can cause all sorts of problems. The earthworm eats the eggs inside the warm cylinder larvae hatch. For years, if necessary, in this form, I wait the lucky match that will return me to my cherished norm, my ugly pelt dispatch. The larvae burrow through the bowel wall, and having to the dregs drained ignominy, gain the lungs' great hall. They change once more, like pegs, lung worms are anchored to the rise and fall, and start to lay their eggs. Dimly I see my life of all the sign of better lives, the germ.